What is pussy popping, you beautiful humans? My name is Ariane Andrew. I'm Matt Dillon, and welcome to another piping hot episode of Sipping the Tea, where we are... Uh, uh, Sip the tea and our guests spill that tea. Who you got in your Ooh, in your lap? I got the little baby nugget glitty. Um, big welcome back yeah. to It's Mama 2011. I'm super excited today to welcome an actor, all-rounder. You may have seen him on Veep, Law and & Order, and he's got a big, big film coming out in 2020. <laughs> Spencer Trinwith, welcome, my man. Thank you. Thank What's you, up? Thank you. What What's going happening? on? How you doing? Look, I gotta say, I am seriously in the mood to gossip, so this is perfect timing. Ooh, what I, you got? I, I am gonna be sipping my tea with both pinkies up today. Get it, get it, get it. I want to take it back, though. I want to take it back because your journey's been eclectic, to say the least. Yeah. And I think to hear for our viewers from your perspective, you know, this year and next are going to be some of the biggest of your life, but you've been through sure. quite the quite the journey. Can you take us back to, like, obviously, you know, you had degenerative discs. All right, stand by. We had technical problems. We have to start from the beginning again. Oh, my God. We had no memory card. All right. Oh. Girl. Let me fix my hand. I just got this. Den to den <laughs> you did something. perfect with Trin with, though. That Trin was with. flawless that execution. I know. What's that? <laughs> I'm over here sweating. My balls are Again, fucking sweating. We're so chafing. Off. It's happening. <laughs> you just like me to say pussy popping. I know, Andy. <laughs> he loves it. Say it, Andy. Andy, your turn. What's what? What's what? Let's go, what, what, Let's what, go what, bitch. What? We got to go. <laughs> what? Pussy popping, you beautiful humans. My name is Ariane Andrew. <laughs> and I'm Matt Dillon. And welcome to another piping hot episode of Sipping the Tea, where we are... Um, Sip the tea and our guests. Spill, spill that, that tea. tea! Cheers, Bill. <laughs> Who you got in your lap? We have a little glitty right here who's trying to escape from set today. <laughs> Miss Mama is right back with us. Today I'm super excited. You may remember our guest from uh, appearances on Veep, Law and Order, but it's uh, it's his next big film role and his life story, really, that really define who this uh, young man is. Spencer Trinwith, what's up, hey, buddy? What's going on? How you doing, Thanks man? So much for Hello, having how me. are you? Thank you, thank you. Really? Are you ready to spill? I am super ready to spill the beans. The beans. Oh. <laughs> The beans. The beans. Well, yeah, <laughs> plot twist. I was about to say, we, we just took a left. Ooh, Hang on a second, we sir. No, gas on this no we're still in everything today. Okay. All right. Everything goes. I want to kind of, <laughs> for our audience, because I, we're going to get to the big, big project. I want to really take it back to your journey, because there's, there's a lot of defining moments happening right now for you in the yeah. industry, but there was yeah. a life-defining moment that happened to you that I think to overcome something like that, Tell it in your own words because it's, for me, it's something, when I read your bio, I was like, mm -hmm. oof. Yeah. Yeah. Hit us, um, hit us with the... Gosh, I mean, it was really just uh, an everyday fight. You know what I mean? Like, there wasn't really any um, break from it, you know? Sometimes trials and tribulations, you'll have, uh, you know, kind of the, the, the peaks and valleys, right? Correct. But with this, it was just really relentless. And that's why it was that much more important for me to uh, get um, this resolved, which was a, a, a bad degenerative disc in my back. Can you explain for the viewers what, the, you know, put us in your space? Because when I was reading it, I was like, ooh, it's, it sounds bad. It How is, bad it, was that? It's pretty bad. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because if you think about it. And you're young and too. I was like, I, shit, man. Young. I'm very young. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I'm very yeah. young. He's like, yeah. repeat it again. <laughs> repeat it again. Super, super <laughs> young. Baby face. Um, no, I mean, I think that, you know, you just never know what the cards that are going to be dealt. You know, I really, it's, uh, yeah, it's very, very humbling. And I'm really... I'm really relieved that I I did have a pretty routine um, uh, fix. You okay. know, it's a big it's a big thing. It's fusion surgery. Most people that uh, you know get that are much older than I am. It was, it was really funny when I was actually recovering from my surgery. I, there were these two older gentlemen, you know, they were talking about, oh, I got this knee thing done, and you know, oh, I got this level done, and I turn around, and I'm like, well, I got my L5 as well done, and they just looked at me like, what the heck? Yeah. They're like, yeah. I just thought you were here to talk to us, man, <laughs> like, come on. Yes, yeah, not to say that, like, ooh, you know, you're on our level. That's yeah. crazy, and this yeah. was it, this happened in D.C., correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're yeah. a D.C. boy. I was in, I was in D.C., well, I'm 
he's, he's really a Bay Area, California, when it comes down to it. Because you're but, from San Jose, right? Yeah, I'm from yeah. San Jose. So, but but yes. What's that San Jose song? Should we Bay sing it? Bay Area. <laughs> uh, 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 well, uh, uh, that's not what I was talking about. But you do you, girl. Well, there's do you know the way to San Jose? Of but course. come on, we've got better songs than that. Like any E40 song. That's what I was. Those. That's what I was talking about okay. right there from the Bay okay. Area. Okay. So that defining moment for you <laughs> and coming through it was how, you know, at that, that young age and you wanted to, you had all these dreams, ambitions and goals and all of a sudden slam. Yeah. Did you think it was over? Like not your life, not your life child, but in terms of being in a prime and being like on a roll and being like, now I have to deal head on with something that, you know, you yeah. mentioned that, that you, the old people in the Yeah, I, I think that um, kind of how I, or, or, or explain it is that I may have hit that point, but I never stayed at that point. I like that. It was as soon as I would hit that point, actually, that would be the thing that would propel me away from that. Because Good advice for life, I think. It is. And I just wasn't going to accept that. Up here, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because truly, it's, it's just as much... Um, uh, hard on you emotionally as it is uh, physically. But I but so. I feel like you use that for your acting as well, because I know with being in the business, especially as an actor, mm -hmm. that you have to be resilient. You have you to be, have to be a pit bull. Yes. And You've you, got to be one of these little ferocious fellas right here. And the he one is, sleeping. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> real ferocious. <laughs> Let me sip my tea, Chad. Okay. Um, but I felt like you used that even with, you know, what happened to you, because I, I heard on Spoken Word how you just kept saying, you know what, like this, you never use it as like a crutch. You're like, I'm gonna no. get through this no matter no. what. No. And that's kind of what you've done yeah. with your acting career. So can you shed some light on us and talk about uh, Wonder Woman? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you know, I can't really get into too many Dang. of the details, but um, I can say that it was a it was a total blast to work on and to be able to, to work on a, a production of that magnitude. Ooh was truly a, a, a dream come true for me. And, and that was also uh, the first project that I had coming out of, as soon as I got my good bill of health, I auditioned for something that I didn't even know what it, I didn't even know what it was. They, 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 they the don't best. tell you, you know what I mean? And I auditioned for it and I, I forgot about it, honestly. And, um, and then the casting director called me and was like super excited to tell me about, you know, this project or whatever still didn't tell me um, what it was. Uh, and I was like, oh, cool. And then, yeah, found out, you know. Fantastic. Wow. Yeah, that was a really, really, uh, and, and Patty Jenkins was a true honor to, to work with her. She is, um, she really gets things done. And uh, cool as a cucumber, really, really, really nice. Seems like you get nice things lady. done too, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the universe is, is, <laughs> yeah. universe is in your favor. I mean, what a beautiful way to come out of something so, so harrowing and kind of in your face and be like, well, the universe is working for me. Yeah, good it, things happen to good people. Exactly. Thanks. I, yeah, I think so too. I mean, there certainly was a, you know, what the fuck do I do now? Like, how do I, do I even remember how to act even, you know? Was it in your, it's in your blood, I can it tell. It was. Your parents. It, yeah. Your parents are yeah. actors. The, them too. And Hence the name, correct? <laughs> yeah, Names exactly, I was like. Exactly. Spencer, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's what I said before, you know, it's like, well, you shouldn't have named me Spencer if you didn't want me to get into show business. I don't know. Right all about that. I was like, you're destined, brother. You're destined. Mm -hmm. So what else do you have in the works? What's, you know, what's your five-year plan? Oh, gosh. Five-year plan. Come is, on, think big, um, kid. It's, it, <laughs> it is big. It is big. And I think that that's kind of how you have to um, really go about this business. And, you know, I have right now... Uh, four different things in uh, post-production. Okay. But now is not the time to be just, you know, like, ah, oh, I'm just gonna kinda chill back. And yeah. now is the time that you wanna really put the pedal to the metal. Pilot season. Yeah, exactly, exactly, things like that. So um, I think um, do, doing rich roles, big roles, and uh, big audience, you know? That's really like what I'm it. going for. Yeah. I'm happy for you. I think there's I think there's tales and lessons in life when you're tested and clearly you're meant to be on this path because I think so. You know, it's the the pieces have aligned for you post what you went through and and you know, 
a lot of people would have let that really get them down. And I think you may you touched on a good point that there's there's kind of like a a synergy between what you went through personally and what as an actor you go through with the mental kind of health. Can yes. you? I want to kind of you know some advice that you could impart on people, but going through what you know just mm -hmm. using your own your yeah. own I'm kind mine. of. Hmm? You're reading my mind. Yeah, girl. <laughs> um, no. You're so cute. He's like, You're he's so like, they're about to make out. No, no it's not like that. But let me tell you, chat. <laughs> I'm gonna better. sit my feet. You better. You better. You don't, don't, you don't, don't make our guests uncomfortable now. No, no, I'm at. <laughs> he uncomfortable. There's the door, chat. I'm kidding. I'm dead. <laughs> so, so um, yeah. I guess oh. some advice that I uh, give to myself is that you know the. Um, your audition and your role, it's not, your self-esteem isn't on the line. What, what's, what's on the line is these are the, um, the, the choices that I think this character would do. And it has nothing to do with whether you're worthy of being in this business, whether you're talented, you know, whether you're good looking or not or whatever. It's, that's what your audition is about. And I think when you start thinking it like that, it makes um, auditions and going before producers and casting people a hell of a lot less terrifying, you know? Because that's, that's really what it's about. Yeah. And like what advice, especially with pilot season being right now, what advice would you give to like upcoming actors? Because, you know, when, you try, when you're trying to like, you know, get your foot in the door, it's mm. so difficult because yeah. they want you to have credits, but no one wants to offer you a role. It's so a, you're like, yeah. oh, well, what do I do? Yeah, it's so a like, tough catch 22, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I think that the best way is to get involved in absolutely anything and just start making friends. Start making friends. Um, you know, I um, did some... Um, work with uh with house of cards and um the same crew people that were on house of cards were also working on wonder woman like i would say at least 75 percent and that was really awesome home home field advantage to have uh in that situation because i knew everybody there was you know i like that uh, I, yeah i think that i think in terms of like you're touching upon like the, the family vibe, but like being able to ask questions and open yourself up, open your network up. Not everybody has to be mm -hmm. your bestie, but it's kind of like having an understanding and respect level for cast, right. crew, the boom guy. Everybody yep. plays an important role, and everybody you never know plays. where anybody's going to end up in the spectrum of life. Right. Exactly. So I'm always of that motto, and I think in the in the biz, you really don't like overnight happens in 10 years but uh yeah you know that's that's why you know you just you shake everybody's hand and you say thank you because the truth is there are so many moving parts and you know it's probably in, in your show too there's so many things that you know so many people that you rely on to to make this happen and work and so that's why i think it's uh it's really important to you know be gracious to everybody yeah it takes yeah. the village it for does. sure, it, it takes does. the village. Yeah, Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> yes, and, and what too? What like Andy would always say goes, "Your your network is your net worth." Mm -hmm. So just kind of what totally. you're talking about, like cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. Let's e cheers. To bring that, that in. Yeah, yeah, cheers. It. So on that note, I want some tea for us, honey, because he said he was going to come and spill. Oh, it's been okay, very okay. inspirational, but all right, <laughs> okay. you know, what, what's your best set memory? Like something that would, you know, that's really stuck with you. I know you can't talk about Wonder Woman because, you know, she ain't, she ain't flying until 2020. But, yeah, you know, yeah, what's something that too. really, you know, what's something that really stuck with you on set that, you know, you can you can delve us in? Good or bad or indifferent? No, your um, most horrible experience. I was going to ask that, but poor guy, he better put him on the spot, child. <laughs> no, he need, a, he need to work in this. He doesn't have to say a name. There, there are some, there are some hilarious uh, theater stories that... I can share with you. Well, I like mm. the theater. Let me yeah. have a little sip. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, I'm ready. So, <laughs> so it was, uh, I was playing Richard III, and it was the night before the performance, and my family all wanted to get together, because this was like, I was much younger at this point, and this was like the first real play that I was doing um, at the Shakespeare Theater in, in D.C., and so we all had this like really wonderful meal. Well, it turns out the the Chilean sea bass that I ordered like pretty much tried to murder me that night. Like actually, I almost died. My oh, life was like yeah. oh, before Lord. my eyes. And I was like, I can't, I don't know if I can do this. You know, I really don't. Because I was like so so incredibly sure. ill. And uh, but you know, I the show must go on. 
You know, as this is a theater, this is, I mean, this is just literally. how it goes, right? So I, so I did it, and you know, Richard the Third is this character who is, uh, you know, he's he's like ugly and menacing, and you know, sweat was just dripping, pouring from me. I mean, really, it, I feel kind of bad because it was actually the Chilean sea bass that had the great performance and not me. Do you know what <laughs> I mean? Like, everybody was like, oh my god, you were like living that, you know? You're like, and trust I was, me, like, I really yeah. was. I, I That's truly door. Was. <laughs> I, <truly laughs> I really <laughs> was. That is so funny. I love that. My dad's, my, my, my dad has some incredible theater stories, and one of them was, I just, I have to give him a shout out for this. Yes, this is, please. This is truly hilarious. So uh, him and my sister were doing some, uh, you know, father-daughter bonding. So they were doing a play together at a community college. And, you know, the, sometimes those plays, some people aren't really, you know, as maybe committed as, as, as they should. And so, you know, there were things that were kind of, uh, it, was, it was a mess, essentially. <laughs> it, it, was, it was a true mess. And uh, my sister ended up dropping out, but my dad, you know, being like me, the show must go on. I, yes. I, you know, pr I'm an actor with a capital O, right? Um, <laughs> um, decides to, to stick around. And uh, he played the gravedigger, and he has the first opening song. So it's, it's the opening night, and he goes on as the gravedigger, and for whatever reason, the, the electric keyboard... Uh, somebody pressed on accident the demo song, which was a synthesized version of Livin' La Vida Loca. Oh, no. Ricky Martin's <laughs> Livin' La Vida Loca just blasting there. And there he is, you know, being the grave digger. Like, He's uh, like, oh, what, wait, oh. let's yeah. do it. Yeah, I think he just froze, but I know I, if that was me, I would have just started. Oh, going. I can say, he'd be like, going. Ricky, remember, Ricky, you're out. Remember when Ashley Simpson did the <laughs> oh. thing for yeah. the dance? Like, mm, that is so do. funny. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I think we're going to end it on. I mean, I can't even talk anymore because I'm visualizing can this and I'm like. Can you I mean, of all the songs you could choose you could I think choose it's like even that. better because, it's, because it's of brilliant. that song. I'm like, You're like oh. I can vi visualize it now. I'd be like, damn. <laughs> I know. Like, testing times. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Well, on that note, yeah. I'm going to have you look into that camera right there and plug in your socials, plug in whatever projects you want to plug and, uh, you know. Yeah. Take it away. Um, uh, follow me at, um, at Spencer Trinwith. That's both on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, my last name, since it's pretty much from Middle Earth, is spelled T-R-I-N-W-I-T-H. All Get right. it. On that note, you can follow me across the board at Ariane Andrew and this little sleepy nugget at Glitty Glit. I'm Matt Dillon, Matt Dillon 1983. It's Mama 2011. And until next time. <laughs> on Focus TV Network, we will catch you guys next week on Sippin' the Tea. Let's cheers it out. Cheers. Thank you so much, Thank brother, you. for coming. Yes. Woo! Yeah, you got the wrong number. Click.